Commander Kenneth Coleman has been part of the USS Independence crew since September 2006. After a tour as XO, he fleeted up to CO in April 2010. He believes the technology and efficiencies aboard LCS-2 are the way of the future for the rest of the fleet, and one of the biggest rewards is that he has been a part of it since the beginning. He elaborated on some of the efficiencies featured on Independence. We don't use paper charts on board. Uh, a lot of the fleet is now starting to make that transition too, uh, but we certainly, I think, we're at the vanguard of doing that, where we relied completely on the electronic navigation uh, systems. Another uh, thing that we're doing now is we have an engineering control system uh, where we have one person essentially manning the entire engineering plant, a couple rovers that also do some eyes on, uh, but we are relying much more on the, uh, the remote electronics uh, to control things and to monitor systems. And I think you'll see uh, a greater change to that in the rest of the fleet, particularly as we try to uh, find more efficiencies, uh, especially in terms of manning. Another area where LCS is breaking new ground is in using unmanned vehicles. All three of our mission packages will employ to some degree unmanned vehicles, both aerial, undersea, or surface vehicles. So uh, we are really starting to, I think, kind of figure out how to do actual combat, actual warfare, everything from surveillance to engagement. Uh, using unmanned and remote, uh, remotely piloted vehicles. Uh, I think that's a huge transformation in how we fight. Uh, it has both effectiveness, uh, I think it'll be more effective in some ways than uh, traditional vehicles that we've used, and certainly it'll have some efficiencies as far as that goes. The capacity of USS Independence, with its 15,000 square foot mission bay, is one of its most exciting and valuable features. In reality, the things you could do with this kind of volume at sea uh, are really limited only to your imagination. Um, so I think that capability to bring that, that kind of space to carry things and move them around and employ them in a combat environment uh, or in a humanitarian environment if needed uh, is very exciting. So w particularly with a shallow draft, we can get into some places obviously that, that other ships just can't get to. Uh, and even with our flight deck, we can get helos in much closer to land even if we can't get into the ports that we're going to. Uh, so I, I think that really, uh, as far as the ship design itself, is one of the most exciting things. Uh, the technology, um, the electronic technology, the controls that we're able to do uh, from you know, simple mouse clicks and uh, hopefully soon some touch screens, uh, and then of course the unmanned vehicles that we're coming up, so we're, that we're coming on board with. I think those are also very exciting and uh, really going to be how we fight wars now in the next century. In many ways, a small ship and a 40-person crew can translate to challenges, but Commander Coleman said it's also what makes USS Independence so personally fulfilling. From my perspective, the most exciting part is working with the crew. Uh, the sailors that I have, as I mentioned before, are, are exceptional individuals uh, that together form a, a fantastic team. Um, despite all the technology and all the changes we have, the crew really is what the, is the backbone of this ship. Commander Coleman had some advice for SWOs who are considering a billet aboard an LCS. I would encourage them to, uh, to talk to their counterparts on an LCS ship. My perspective is it's been very rewarding uh, in a lot of different ways, particularly with the flexibility we've had to really take what we've learned and apply it in a completely different environment. I think if you're looking for a challenge, you're looking to try something new and work with a, a very uh, high uh, quality crew, this is the place to come. Within a year, Commander Coleman hopes independence will be done with testing and fully operational, doing deployments with the rest of the fleet. He summed up his experience so far aboard this remarkable new ship. I've loved being in the Navy for the last 20 years. I love being on ships. Uh, you know, it, to me, it was, it was kind of love at first sight. I mean, this was going to be my ship for the next five years, whether it's XO or CO. Uh, and, you know, I've enjoyed every moment uh, that's come with, you know, even some of the hard points and the frustrations with the construction process. But um, I, I've enjoyed the opportunity to kind of learn so much about how ships get put together and in particular how this ship's gotten put together. I, I think it's a wonderful warship and I, I'm just happy that I got a chance to be part of it.